Yo, 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 what's good, y'all? Welcome back to Pastor Six. I'm your host, JB. Joining me as always, Tsunami Wave. What's going on, bro? Yo, yo, I'm feeling good, man. How you feeling? I'm good, man. I'm good, man. Yo, as always, appreciate y'all. Welcome back. Today, we will not be showing any content of the WrestleMania, so hopefully everybody can stick with us this week. <laughs> 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 my fault. <laughs> That's my fault, y'all, yeah, but I uh, hope all is well, man. Uh, how you doing, Wave? Before we even get into it, uh, I'm feeling good, man. You know, uh, I've been coaching flag football. You know, it's, uh, just came to our area, so we got our first game tomorrow. We playing like almost like a rival school, so I'm a little pumped for that. You know, at the same time, tired for from preparation. Uh, but I've been good. I can't complain, man. How how about you? I'm good, man. Today's been like a tech day from hell, so hopefully nothing else goes wrong during this show. Had some technical difficulty. I think we even started it technically a minute late. But man. hopefully this goes smooth. If not, that's what vodka's for, right? <laughs> <laughs> Word. But, uh, yo, if you're new to this show, man, we start out with what games we're currently playing. Then from there, we'll get into this speaking game and talk about some retro games. Then from there, we'll touch upon some topics, industry news. Then we'll end with the spin wheel. One got to go, game versus all types of stuff. That's four parts of the show is split into. Um, without, yo, with, without, with that said, man, let's get into it. What games you been playing, Wave? Oh, uh, man. Uh, nothing too, nothing out of the, the uh, ordinary, you know. I've been playing. Uh, I know I mentioned this a couple of weeks ago, this new game called Hawked. Yeah. Um. Oh, actually, I'm lying. After I talk about this game, I did. I did try. I'll talk about it in a minute. All right. So we started with Hawked, and that's like an Indiana Jones BR type of thing. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Um, a little bit of COD, and then uh, you know, Mo offered uh us to play some Overcook okay. with him. You know, last week. So I've been uh getting in some Overcook too. With my boy Mo, we we got pretty far, you know. I think we got to like the fourth world, um, and now it's getting a little difficulty with the stuff we got to do and stuff. So like, it's 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 getting challenging. I will say that, man. You know, but it's it's good with two people. That's what's up, man. Yo, I, I wish I could have made it. Been working a lot, man. But um, yeah, yo, I liked Overcook. It's just like the problem was, it's like y'all was like y'all be playing. I'm like, damn, I'm not even home right now. Right. Um, and then, like, I get home, and obviously the time difference, he probably sleep versus, and then I, you probably sleep. You know what I mean? So yeah, we definitely yeah. got to link up for Overcooked. Um, I'm a big fan of that game, so it's not like I got to start from fresh, right? right. Um, yeah, man. Uh, for me, I played some WWE 2K24. I played a very little bit of the, of the show, not even enough to talk about that this, this week. The oddball... Yo, Yoshi story, my uh, which is on the 64. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the little one, man, she's been scrubbing through the uh, Nintendo Switch online expansion, which right. I'm glad because we paying for it and I'm not scrubbing through it, so I'm glad she is. But yeah. um, she stumbled upon Yoshi story. Um, for anybody who's new, she we've gone through now Super Mario 64, we've gone through Odyssey, we've gone through Super Mario Wonder, and there's something else I'm missing. Um, Definitely got good taste early on, man. Right, right. Young, and that's how I started with Mario. <laughs> right. Um, I did play a little bit of Pokemon Sun. Um, still uh, beating the trainers in their uh, uh, totem Pokemon and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Mo again. Uh, hooked me up with the 3DS. Been playing Pokemon Sun. I really like like that. It's just the problem I had with it, I ended up running into a wave. I always want to play the damn game. It's trying to find the time. Because I can right. never never play one battle, uh, you know what I mean, and like hop back off the game. I always got to play it for like at least two hours straight because yeah. I just get enthralled with the game. So sometimes I don't even pick it up because I'm like, I know I don't got the two hours right now <laughs> to like right. really to, to to get into it. And the last thing is I re-downloaded and started to play. I didn't get too far. Hellblade 1 because obviously Hellblade 2 is out next month. So I wanted to kind of get a refresher on that. But, I was thinking about doing that, but I was like, nah, I don't know if I got the time. to. I, like, yeah. I, it wouldn't be like a refresher for me. It would be like a new experience. Sure, sure. So, like, it's different. All right. So let's get to the chat. Shout out to Carlos Lawrence for tech, checking out the show. Appreciate it as no, always. No. Just said, hey, what's going on? Yo. Most said, yo, what's good, bro? Yo. 
said play some overcooked, of course, and bluey. So the bluey game, I don't know how far you are, Mo, but the bluey game is actually hilarious, but also pretty damn good at the same time. You know what I mean? Right. Like, obviously, it's a kid's game. If you're familiar, you're with the show and you know what the game is about. But um, there, there are little challenges in it that, like, some kids will probably do need some type of adult help to get. So uh, the control is very, like, uh, accurate. So, like, you have to do things, like, perfect or it's not going to work. Right. Just a spoiler alert for those who are playing it. John John said, what's good, Kings? What's good, bro? Yo, yo. Mo said, also, Halo Infinite Campaign. I got to get get back on Halo. You, you see what I mean, Wade, all right? So many yeah. games I complained for years and years about not having stuff to play. And now I'm, I feel like I'm behind now. Like, Yeah, it's the time, bro. Ask you, Larry. Yo, 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 what's good, bro? Yep, yep. What's going on? John John said, I played eight Assassin's Creed Origins and Fallout 3 for the first time. They're putting a lot of Assassin's Creed titles they on are. Game Pass. They are. The way, I just want to put that out there. If you into Assassin's Creed, you may not have played. I think they got uh, Orange Origins. Yep. Uh, the Valhalla. Yep. And I can't think of the third one. I don't want to miss say the wrong one. But there's another one on there too. Yes. Yeah, I wonder, like, if that's just because, like, the relationship Microsoft. Obviously, it's always been available for Xbox. But I wonder if they sign some something where if they make a new one, it will come directly to Game Pass. Or if it's just you know do its time on the market and then come to Game Pass, we we'll see how that goes. Percentage, man. Got it. Yeah, that subscription. John, John said, "Oh, I want to check out Hellblade 2. and he asked me if I like Hellblade. Yo, I love that game, man. I've been wait. I've been talking about that game for what two years now because like I yeah. I played it late. I didn't play it when it first dropped on the Xbox One. I played it. Um, I actually I played it on the Series X once they did the whatever you call it." remaster it's mm-hmm. not remaster but they kind of updated to match the speed of the series x that's when i played it and i was just like bro this is incredible again shout out to game pass though because without it i don't know if i would have you know what i mean right have bought it so definitely shout out to game pass so i'm a big fan of that game man. i'm heavily anticipating the second one which comes out in a month and one week but well, who's keeping count right <laughs> like, I- I think that's one of the aspect of the Game Pass that we never really like talked about though is like the exposure. Yeah. Like that's a good point. Like, cause there's a lot of times I go into like the gaming store and I see games that like I feel is maybe interesting, but like it costs a certain amount that I'm not willing to pay the because you know it ain't piqued my interest that much. Right. Uh, but with Game Pass, you get to, you know, try it out. And I know they're gonna take it off sooner or later. I might just go and buy it. Right. You know, right, yeah. Like one of the games with with, with that was the uh, um I can't think of the name of it right now. Oh my god. Uh a Plague Tale Requiem. Like we, yeah. we covered that game when it was coming out, and I was like, I remember being like, yo, I want to play it, but I don't know like when I'm gonna be able to get around the purchase ticket. Like, like I said, I used to purchase games, y'all, and just kind of sit there and not play them. Right. So Game Pass, because of that, when Wave was like, nah, it's coming to Game Pass, I said, perfect. And I was able to find time to download it and play it, but I would have it invest at $70. So definitely shout out to Game Pass on that, because so so many games, I'll just see like the cover or the title of it. I'm like, yo, that look interesting. And I'll read the little synopsis, and then from there, I'll just be like, all right, download. You know what I mean? That's the cool right. part about it. Like, And if we got some good replayability, you definitely going to buy it when I leave Game Pass. Right. John John also said wave 2K on the game pass. <laughs> yeah, what's up? You going you going to play? I got a 95 <laughs> point guard right now. Uh, and I got, a, <laughs> I got a big man too. I ain't going front. You know, uh, I think my big man like a 93 or something like that. So yeah, I'm ready for whatever, man. You want to play big? I'll be I'll shoot. There you go. You want to shoot? I'll play the big. All right, yeah, yo, let's get into this week in gaming. We briefly took a look back on games that dropped throughout this week in history wave. <laughs> Kicking this off, man. Kicking this off. Spider-Man. We're talking about the 2002 version. It's like five different games just called Spider-Man, right? Yeah. Like, this one is known as Spider-Man the movie, though. Like, that's, the, that's how it's known in the gaming world because it's hard to... Keep track of what's what now. <laughs> so, wave this game 2002, of course, released in uh, re- basically in conjunction with the movie. What's your thoughts on this game, man? 
Uh, I was looking at this earlier because, like you said, like it's mad games with Spider Man, and if it wasn't for the year, I probably wouldn't have known exactly which one uh, was on the you know the outline. But anyway, um, this game pretty cool. I know it had to add a a, a lot extra, uh, you know, that's not on the movie just because yeah. of the game. But I think it still did a good job making it similar to the movie. Um, and it's not that bad graphically. It, it, it don't. I'm not gonna say it holds up. Sure, but it's not terrible because we've seen 2002 games. <laughs> we've seen some terrible ones, bro. You know, and this is not one of them. It's it's okay at worst. You know what I mean? But yeah. I think it's pretty decent for what it is, especially with the size of the game. You know what I mean? Right. So so yeah, this is this is pretty dope. I like I like Spider Man the movie. Yeah. So my thoughts on this game, man. Like this particular game, at the time, I thought it was great, right? Especially jumping onto that next gen after we saw the Spider Man was known as Spider Man two thousand on the Dreamcast, the PlayStation, the sixty four. That was good too. That was the one that had Venom in it, Carnage was in it. Um, this one was so dope. Obviously, big fan of the film. Uh, this is pre MCU for any kids who might be watching this. Uh, <laughs> um, but when I played this game, obviously there's different stuff in it, like Shocker is in this game and stuff that wasn't that didn't make it into the original film. But I right. thought this game was dope, man. Obviously, to be honest, this game was like a perfect stepping stone because Spider Man Two, which we covered, um, was that that was where it was at. To be honest, man, Spider Man Two was so special. But you don't get that without this, you know. And right. I think that was a cool part about this game, man. Definitely got a lot, a lot of love for it. I believe I still have it on Xbox, I believe. Um, but yeah, definitely big, 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 big fan of this. Let's see what the uh chat is saying. John, John, just said psych. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that's what I have. That's what I was dying. <laughs> John just said, can't lie. I love the Spider Man, even though it was trash. <laughs> it was it wasn't that bad. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it was trash, but like I, I mean, you comparing it to the PS4 one and now the PS5 one, of course, but at the yeah, same time, fair. yeah. Most Some said, other games around two 2002 looked terrible. Right. Most of my webs topped off already. This game was so fire, and when you beat the game, you could replay it as Green Goblin. That's a great point. I forgot, oh, I forgot about, all that. about that. I forgot about that. I thought that, for some reason I was thinking that was a GameCube exclusive, but it's not. I forgot. That's how. That's how how you did it. Plus, I like the characters. You know what I mean? I like the fact that they didn't follow the movie religiously. Like Shocker was in the game. I believe uh, Rhino was in one of them too. It might even been this one. Uh, not they really Rhino can't Vulture. do that, son. That's nobody want to play a game that's an hour and a half long. Right? Yeah, they gotta add more to it. Absolutely, absolutely. But definitely, big shout out to Spider Man, man. All right, let's get to the next game. Wave. The next game we talking about. This is one of the first ones that I didn't like, man. X Two Wolverine's Revenge, basically, kind of another film movie. You know what I mean? Um, right. Wave. This particular game is the one of the only X-Men games, if you want to call it that, that I didn't like, and I still can't figure out why. I have the game for uh, PlayStation, and I put the game on just to like test it out and stuff like that, because I knew we, we was going to cover it. And I'm like, it's, it's not bad. It's like your typical superhero game but be, before they turn trash. It's just, I don't know, like, this one never made sense to me, because I'm a big fan of the X-Men. I'm a big fan of X-Men games, especially Wolverine. I'm a big fan of him, but it's just, it just didn't hit. What's your thoughts on Wolverine's Revenge? Um, I never actually got a chance to play this. Um, I don't I don't even remember knowing that it dropped, to be honest with you. Okay. Um, so when, when you put this in the outline, it was pretty, pretty new to me. But, like, through my research about it, like, you know, uh, I heard a lot of people mention that this is one of the more difficult Wolverine games, like more like a Souls like type yeah. difficulty, you know, because I know people get like real funny when you say Souls like. Right. But, you know, maybe like the difficulty level is 
on par with a Souls type of game. Um, that could be probably why you ain't feeling it like that, you know. But that's that's what I know from research. But as far as like what I see, I think it's pretty cool for 2003. It looked like it holds up pretty well, like as far as like graphics go. Um, and it's Wolverine, like it's really hard to miss with Wolverine. Like, you just yeah. gotta let him be slashing stuff up and messing stuff up and destroying stuff. It's gonna be pretty good. One thing with this game specifically that made me think when I was just turned this game on, to be honest, was like we are what not even a year away from a, an actual Wolverine game, right? For PS5, mm-hmm. uh, made by Insomniac, obviously the same studio that makes the Spider Man games that everybody loves. So I was like, damn, I hope that's, that's not the same same case when this next joint drop. Because like when we, when we first heard about it, we was so we was hype on that. So hopefully this one hit. Like I said, this is the only x-men themed game that i didn't like so i mean obviously the percentages are in the favor of it being good i just didn't feel this one i just want to point out how highly unnecessary that was what he did to them dudes in the infirmary (laughs) like that was unnecessary (laughs) could have just stabbed him and kept it moving right Mary said, what's up? Good, good, good to see you. What's going yo, on? Yo. Hope all's well. Let me know if you ended up getting that uh, Nintendo Wii. Um, oh, but, yeah. Yeah. Boy, I forgot about that. Mo said, it was whack for the same reason why every Wolverine movie except Logan was whack. He's a rated R character. You can't have that sharp of claws and not rip people to shreds. Right. Interesting, a- interesting fact. I-, I never even thought of it that way. Look. X Men is my thing, so like I'm biased. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I, if you ask me, I ain't never ever see a bad X X Men movie. So, I mean, he don't really be ripping people to shreds in the cartoon either. So, I mean, yeah, I can I can see it still selling because of that. But I do agree with you as far as it needs to be more in a gory. video game. Yeah, yeah, like he his his supposed to be his claws are sharper than anything. He should be cutting right. people up like butter. Just an unpopular opinion. Wolverine is hard to make a game for because it should be okay. Basically, similar to what Mo says. Hey, see, that's what makes me nervous about um this new one because it is rated. Actually, it's not even rate ready yet, but the speculation is it's going to be rated T for teens. So you can't have blood in it, right? Mm-hmm. But it's like, how far can it go? You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to know. Um, that's what makes me a little nervous about this. I mean, at the same time, though, bro, they got games out there. Re- like, it was a shooting game. They got, like, Black. Black was for Xbox One. Yeah. First Xbox. And he was able to shoot people legs off. Yeah, that's people a good point. arms off. People heads off. Like, they, they got gory games. It's like Swordman games that you could, like, Ghost of Tsushima. Right. You could literally cut people up with your sword. <laughs> and, like, you seeing the limbs go off in the blood. It's great. So they can do it. Is the the problem is like they try to push Wolverine towards kids, so they can't do it for that particular right. reason. But if they was trying to have an older audience, they would definitely be able to get away with the gore. That's a good point. That's a good point. I'm gonna put my faith in Insomniac. Like I said, I like what they did with the Spider Man game, so I got faith in them. Let's see what they do, man. Yeah, hopefully they do it the glory way. See, this is unnecessary. Why? <laughs> Let's stab him. That is hilarious. Uh, yo, let's get to the next game. Yo, the next game we talking about Portal Two. Way before we even get into it, are you a fan of the Portal franchise? Nah, I never even actually. I I don't know if it's if I played like the multiplayer on portal i don't even know yeah. it's a multiplayer on portal but that's probably the only part of it i played i never played like the story mode so i don't really know the story i didn't get too far into the game to be honest but like i love the concept of it if that makes sense like i love the contest the concept of it i get why it's beloved but like i always talk about like around this time that this is when i took like the only break in video games i ever did um, the one thing I do remember though is that infamous voice from Portal, like this, mm-hmm. this right here. Like as they walk around, she starts talking and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, man, like I got mass Infected love for the game. Space. Watch. Results were highly informative. They could not. Don't get that stream cut off. Nah, that. <laughs> but um, 
that like, like I, this is one of the franchises I want to go back and revisit because I've never had a bad experience in playing it, but at the same same time, I've never actually completed the games. Um, usually if I get a game, I'll play, I'll play it through to completion, but th- this fr- franchise is kind of one I, I've just casually played, if that made sense. Yeah, like, I can see the like puzzles on this joint getting crazy complex right. too. I probably play a role, get stuck on a puzzle for like weeks. Like, yeah, I'm gonna do something else. Absolutely. See what the chat is saying. Jess said this game gives me so much anxiety and existential dread. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Most said just another instance of Valve not being able to count to three. That is hilarious. <laughs> this left for dead. Actually, yeah. So they never make the third game, even though it's like the first two do very well. They're um much uh what's the term I'm looking for? Wave much uh desired for the third right. game. They just don't, and then now Valve sees that it, it was acquired. So obviously, and it's never gonna ha- happen now. But yeah, that's a great point, Mo. Like I don't know what it is. It's like I guess you know it's like in football they say cut you cut a player one year too early instead of one year too late. So I guess that's that's what they do in the Valve, man. Yeah, that's I could get that. Three three times is not charms in the uh, video game world, man. Right. We've seen a lot of threes fail. Game of Live looks at my favorite homies in Wave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my favorite yeah. hater, man. I right. So much. Let's go, bro. <laughs> Let's go, man. Yo. All right, yo, let's jump to the next game. Yo, the next game we talking about, Wave, is Injustice, Gods Among Us, man. What you got for this one, Wave? I know you're a big fan of the Injustice franchise, correct? Yo, yeah, I actually the whole like it's I guess yeah, I guess you could call it just a franchise because like with the game and the story, uh I think it's really cool the way they did it. And you know, it's not a lot of times where they kind of show you the superheroes in like a real light because you know, they people too, they just ended up with powers, probably except right. for Superman, because he He's an alien and Martian the Manhunter, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. People from Earth, <laughs> you know, they grew up regular people and then somehow got powers. So, like, everybody is not goody goody. Even the goody goody ones, you know, they're going to kind of have a something about them. You know, everybody got something about them. Right. Um, and it's just good to see that human element, even in Superman, though, because he grew up as a human, though. And this kind of what. The story like kind of come stem from which is superman just you know actually showing some type of human trait right uh, which is anger um and then he uses power to kind of take over um but the game is pretty dope you know it, it ain't really nothing special as your uh average side to side game uh fighting game you yeah, know yeah, it yeah. ain't they got a ton to it you and it's kind of unfair because you know we got games like Tekken 8 that is really technical, so you can kind of see where they could go with the fighting games. But like this was pretty cool when it when it came out. I ain't gonna lie, and it's still pretty cool right now. I still play yeah. Justice 2 sometime from time to time. You know? The number one thing I when I think of Injustice is and it's story mode done right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's the thing that makes this replayable. One of my biggest uh issues with the street fighter franchise as is going on i think the story mode is leaves a lot to be desired yeah even if you do know the lore and you you played all the games injustice does it perfect obviously these are characters we pretty much all know so obviously the lore is there within itself (laughs) they got a lot of source material yeah but the fact is like they do a good job of showing it and telling it you know what i mean and i give all the props and justice because i'm like i don't know if we get the mk1 story mode the mk11 story mode that we got without injustice you know what i mean yeah. A- after all it is the same studios but injustice they did this first to be completely honest in terms of the cinematic and the way that you get into the fight um that's why i always give them the highest praise because they kind of set this bar and now she fighter six did it a little bit not 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 as much in mk1 they've been going all in with this since MKX technically. So yeah, actually MK9 to be fair, but 
and just as like I said, the way they did it, it was just perfect. And like the art design is just incredible. The background and everything, like they really took their time with this game. The details and stuff is great. That's why I always gave this game high praise. And I'm still on the lookout for another one, man. Um, and now that you brought up the background, though, I really appreciate how they incorporate the way you could like kind of use the background in the fights. So right, I think that's pretty dope too. Right. Let's get to the chat, man. Let's see, let's see what the chat is saying. He said, "Hate is what I do well." <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, 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 play hate this ball, man. All right, I was just gonna <laughs> say that. That's funny. <laughs> John John said, "Loved injustice, eat even about all the comics." Word. Yeah, I definitely ran through them comics. Hopefully, they'll give us some info on Injustice Three in the near future. Look, man, we've had what. When was the last one? Um, a while ago. It might be hard to expand the story if you really think about it, bro. Like, after they do everything they got to do, like, what more can they do? Yeah. Like, it's, I don't know. It's not one though. of them storylines where you could have, a, could do a lot with. After they stopped Superman, that was really. They could figure it out, though. Because it's Nether Realm, that's what I'm saying. Like, they could figure out something. Because yeah. MK1. Storyline, they had to look really, you know, what I mean, like right. figure out, but and they did a great job with it. So, I mean, but Superman is like that perfect character to be like from protagonist to antagonist, right? You know what I'm saying, right. so most said the storyline was goaded, and it's funny because it was much better than the actual Batman or Superman movie that dropped around the same time. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot facts. about that movie. I went to the theaters to see that shit, man. That's the facts. Word. John John said, "I love this version of Superman." It's the real version of Superman, bro. Something right. happened to your kid, and you could just fly through people. Probably would do the same. Right. John John also said, "Just in case I don't know, just this animated movie is on Max." I didn't know that. Did yeah, you know I watch, yeah, I probably watched it like 20 times. <laughs> Jeff just said, no, nah, they're rough to the movies too. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah, they, they <laughs> definitely need some help on that side. <laughs> hey, we, yeah, hey, man, it's the facts. They definitely that's, need help on that side. Yo, that is hilarious. I don't know why that's so funny to me, but it is. Like, <laughs> <laughs> where are yo? Uh, yo, let's so let's that's all we got for this week in gaming. Let's jump into topics. Wave, let's talk about ba- Battlefield 6, man. Battlefield 6, y'all, is rumored to be returning back to World War One. I. I know some people, specifically Mo, is gonna have something to say about that <laughs> because uh, it always feels like it's a World War One or World War Two, right? Occasionally, they'll touch upon Vietnam. Just, just so they could put the game, quote unquote, in, in the jungles. But um, returns of World War One, but this time they promised to make it ultra bloody and realistic. You know what I mean? Obviously, World War One was looked at as like the super duper bloody gore war before you know just atomic bombs start being dropped. That's a whole other thing, though. Um, some people I've seen mixed reactions. Some people are like, if you're gonna tell the story right. In terms of like the gore and the blood and the chaos and the death, then do it. But if you're just gonna kind of give a one sided approach to it, like you know what I mean, and clean yeah. clean it up like every other war game, then just do something fresh, make up a war like they did in Modern Warfare, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm on the fence though, because this is obviously clipped from Battlefield One when they did World War One, and I thought that game was incredible. That's actually my favorite battlefield of all time. Um, I'm I'm on the fence though because I would like them for them to do something else. At this point, I'd rather them do the goddamn Revolutionary War. At this point, you know what I mean? like right. right with muskets and shit. But um, I do think if they are going to sink their teeth in it and make sure it's graphically right and good and it's gory, I can see me playing it and still enjoying myself and having a great time with it. I really can. But if they're just going to kind of do what they've always done and what Call of Duty has always done and Medal of Honor has always done and stuff like that, then it they setting themselves up to fail is how I feel about that. 
What's your thoughts on this? Before I even get into it, I'm just gonna say, don't drop that 120, Jay. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't do it, bro. You know. Nah, it's standard version only, yo. Standard version yeah, only. Yeah, bro. Um, but after we get that out the way, I'm be quite honest with, bro. I think like we didn't had this war too many times, like, um, and really to be. I think what's going to kill Battlefield 6 is the fact that I'm already seeing people compared to Call of Duty. Yeah. Like, and see, that's the issue when you do a war that was already done by another game. They're going to automatically compare it. And that is a that was one of a lot of people favorite Call of Duty uh, when they did it. I forget which one it was. I think Modern Warfare 2. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Somebody correct me. Right, but a lot of people like that Call of Duty, so they're already not feeling it like on social media, uh, as far as what I saw. So, I mean, that could that could really hurt them early on. Yeah, I mean, it's not though. done as much as World War II, right? World War II is the one that everybody always does, right? They, especially the Germany, um, United States side of it, right? A lot of times they even. Ex- Sometimes some games they even ignore the British side of it, right? Like they right. just like um right. obviously we're gonna storm the beach and and then after that we're gonna liberate for it, it's it's been done to death. World War One is not quite done as much, but like you said, it is the second one that they've done the most. Um Call of Duty does the same thing. I would like to see Battlefield just make up a futuristic war. You don't need jetpacks and stuff like COD has done in the past. Just kind of make up a war. You know what I mean? Just make up a story of war. I don't think it's that hard to do. But again, if, they, if they're going to stick to what they said, and that's the super gory, super realistic with the mustard gas and everything in the carnage of World War I, um, then I think it could work. Uh, but I just don't know, man. Because one, one could, could say they did it with Battlefield 2042, right? Yeah, <laughs> like, that's going like, to hurt them too. I ain't even mentioned that. Right, like one could say they did go with the futuristic stuff, it didn't work, so now they can go back to historically accurate. But I will say, there's just being on live wave, I am surprised by how many Battlefield fans are hanging in there with them. Like, obviously, I'm not saying it's going to eclipse COD, but just right underneath that, there are some was like, Well, if you make a good a good game, we're going to check it out, but if it's just if it's trash, we're going to fall off it just like we did in the past. Was it Battlefield One? Was the last time like they did like, like one of the historic wars? Yeah, Battlefield One. They uh, which is twenty sixteen. Which I can't even, uh, I can't even believe that game's eight years old now. I, I remember think a lot of people love that one though. That's right. probably why you know. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, I, I think that's why they're doing it. Um, and it's it's on Game Pass. We go back and play it. There's rumor that this no, is going to come to Game Pass day one. Which obviously would be good. Yeah, you know I mean, I think that's a smart move after what right. happened. Uh, I'm just curious though, man. This is very interesting. I'm curious to see how this plays out. Yeah, that's a fact. Let's get to the chat. Let's see. Let's see where we were. <laughs> I'm all set. Skip, 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 skip. <laughs> Yo, man. Yo, this is not a bad, bad time. Call of Duty is coming off the critically most panned game. Modern Warfare 3, uh, the second version of it, um, was critically panned. So I mean, if there's ever a time for these companies to try to put their best foot forward with these shooting games, is that we talked about last week. Our, is the genre dying? We kind of came to the consensus of no. They just got to do something different. This is not something different, but, <laughs> but we'll see. See, the issue, though, is like you got to worry about the old Call of Duty games. People not going to compare it to the new one. People right. going to compare it to their favorite. And that's sure. the issue because everybody wants you to they want something like they favorite. Like, right. It's your favorite for a reason. I don't, and that that's kind of the damn you do, damn if you uh, don't kind of aspect of game creating or creating in general because there are always going to be some people that make it harder. Yeah. For, uh, no diddy. for I got you. <laughs> and I definitely want to get into Andrew's comment. But first off, what's good, bro? Hope all's well, man. Word. Hope all's good with you, bro. They said they nailed the World Wars. I'm hyped for this. Can't wait to see the multiplayer. I do want to touch upon that. As somebody who loves Medal of Honor, SOCOM, and all that, Battlefield has the most realistic version of these wars. 
So I, I'm probably not as mad as most people of them doing these historical wars because I think they've done the best job of telling these wars. Call of Duty, not so much, even though I, I love that first one. Um, yeah. And I love the Medal of Honors and stuff, but this has always been the most realistic version. So I believe them a little bit more when they say they're going to go the gory route with it and tell the real story. Um, but then again, you still have to fall within the ESRB. So... I don't know if you can put out a game that's M for much. Who knows, man? Who knows at this point? I think you have to, though. Game of Live looks said Battlefield needs to return to the trash bin. No rumors. That's tough. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, that's kind of tough right now. They man. do got some good ones, man. They, they do. They, just, they did a bad job with the last one. I can name only three games, four games. Four. There's only four Kai Kai games that are better than two Battlefield games. Battlefield 1. I'm gonna go Battlefield Four personally, but um, other than that, and that's Modern Warfare One, Modern Warfare Two. I'll give Black Ops Two, and personally, I'll give you what about Black Ops Three. Nah, for me, no. Okay. Black Ops Two was the apex of the Black Ops series, and the first two Modern Warfare is like untouchable, untouchable. Um. I think yeah. Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 2 might be the best ones. John John said that's dead disappointing if the rumors are true. I feel that, man. I feel that. I think now's the time to get creative with it. And going back to World War One is not creative. Man, it, like I said before, let them dudes do like one of the old wars where you got throwing freaking axes and you know, for honor was a good game for a minute. Like if right. you even go do something like that where you like samurais versus mongols versus some other type of warrior race right. at that time i don't know if vikings was around at the same time but whatever you feel me and they just going at it with they kind of weapons i think right. i think that would do numbers i'm not mad at that like i said something fresh whether it's battlefield call of duty whoever somebody needs to start there's so many wars in the history of man that we know about got literature about everything you know movies right. TV, like tv shows this, this time, make one about the Civil War. Fuck it. Like, you know what I mean? like <laughs> that, these are American companies be, anyway. Like, yeah, like Rudy Giuliani beating somebody up. <laughs> Yo, but like, if they imagine a 65 on 65, right? Right. And dudes, you could be like a dude with a shield and a, and a spear, somebody that got bow and arrows. You could have like a sword, you could have like two axes. Right. And y'all just going at it on the battlefield. That would be like crazy, like you know what I'm saying, right? Because you could still be sniping with the bow and arrow, like is that would be tough. I think they should do something like that. I think they scared. Most said wave just in inadvertently caps capes for a totally accurate battle simulator. <laughs> yeah, but that game is mad goofy. Like them things be the way they move around is goofy. Right. I actually played that. It is, and it's a cool concept. But they could like make it into like some more full scale. Right. And then everybody control a person. Like that would be dope. Gamer Live looks said they're gonna get Jay for nothing. <laughs> 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 please don't let me nah go. nah this is is game pass or i'm gonna wait that first week that i'm gonna buy the standard version no more no more andrew said sounds like they're going back to their roots and back to what they know before releasing a garbage dump like the recent crap show yeah look man that's smart Sometimes there is there is a trick with if you're doing if you're gonna make up stuff right. Twenty forty two, uh, we saw that with uh, Call of Duty. What is that? Advanced Warfare, okay. yeah, stuff like that. Um, there is a trick there too, but sometimes I do think again, there's more than World War One, World War Two. Those are the infamous ones, but Civil War, Revolutionary War, and that's just with America, right? War eighteen twelve. You you could also do wars of other countries per se right um mm -hmm. i know they're trying to heavily appeal to the american gamers but still man at this point game is all over the world man so mo said they want to be real i wonder if they'll have the spanish flu in the world <laughs> <laughs> that would be crazy <laughs> if you don't reach the score limit everybody just catch the spanish flu and die. that's hilarious that's hilarious that's kind of funny though that just be... said make it real with trench foot <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to write in to uh, Dyson Electronic Arts, man. 
if they want to succeed, they need to bring a new war, something that hasn't been done like Vietnam that would work for Battlefield. So they've never done Battlefield just because Medal of Honor did it. You see what I'm saying, Wave? Doesn't yeah. mean that that they can't. So that's a good point. Battlefield, they've always done these wars very historically accurate, which I liked. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's just like why keep rehashing the same thing? That's the that that's the key about it. Um right. That's the issue. Somebody on Twitter said to point out the fact that Hitler was in the German army war, so you could put a cap in him. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that, That's hilarious. that would be a dope side mission, right. though. Right. It's also going to change history, though. <laughs> what? <Like, laughs> Andrew said, Medal of Honor's Beach of Normandy was top World War II moment. Yeah. Yo, Medal of Honor, they, again, like I always bring that game up, Waves, like those series of games. I loved what they did with that game. I, I kind of wish that we could get like a remaster of one of them. Not to take out COD or Battlefield or nothing, but just like because right. those games are so good, it's just now they're old, so they, they don't graphically hold up and stuff. I wonder if these war games go out and try to like see how good they can make their game and like try to like you know give people PTSD type thing. Mm, that's a good question, actually. Um, I don't know. Look, they're they're talking like they're about the like this game might be. Above M, you know what I mean. If they're gonna really do it, but I don't know, man. It's 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 easy to say that now, right? We'll see what happens when the game when we start seeing stuff from from the game. I doubt it with a multiplayer though, because like kids gonna play it, they can't make it mature. Right. John just said Battlefield Four was dope. It was. Andrew said Battlefield Five multiplayer was insane. That was the multiplayer on Battlefield Five was the best. Learning how to use those snipers was intense. Battlefield got good stuff about it, man. It's just, one, I think they have a big marketing problem. And two, when Call of Duty is right in terms of the multiplayer and then Warzone dropping and all that, you just can't touch it. Right. So it's like, don't compete with them like in terms of trying to copy them. Just do what you do best and do it well. See, my man's pulled out the axe right there. Imagine you had the axe the whole time. Game of said, I'll mess with the Continental Army versus the Redcoats and George Washington lead, lead, leading the troops. Yo, imagine that wave of scene, like a, a scene in the game where you got to, like, um, if it's made by Insomniac, it's Insomniac, the quick time, time events to throw the T overboard. Like, <laughs> like, front X and the it triangle. Was, like, <laughs> choose between wood and porcelain teeth. Right. <laughs> you had a toilet joint, so you had a, you had a tree joint. Which, <laughs> like, you the hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> you, want the shite, you want the shiny white toilet, so you want right. the, the brown trees, man. Yo, and you said, raise your hand if you're playing for the South in the Civil War. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Yo, that's mad funny because I can see people yeah. doing that. Like, <laughs> yeah, that would that would be crazy. The most racist game ever. In my game, the South won. <laughs> like, like, I could imagine how toxic that would be. Right. Battlefield, the takeover of. Yeah, I don't know how to say that. Pyongyang and the Korean the Korean War. Yo, the Korean War, if you even if you want to do like again, it's been done already, but the war on terror. If you, again, if you want to have an American central, fine. But there's again, there's so many wars that happen throughout the history of man. Like you said, wave when the Mongols invaded, you know what I mean? With the swords and the horses, that could be dope too. There's so many right. stuff, so much stuff that you could do. Yo, imagine if they did the Vietnam War, but like let you lay traps like they did. Yeah, in the real war, like and go through the tunnels and the tunnels, climb the, the venomous trees. snakes and stuff. The venomous snakes that were in used the water, stuff, yeah. Like that joint would be fly, crazy, but it would, I, that would be dope. Just said a January 6th battle, <laughs> <laughs> oh, battlefield <shit>. insurrection, like <laughs> <laughs> battlefield six storming the White House, right. All right, yo, let's get That'd to the next crazy. topic, man. So we're going from one game most people are like, hell no, to the next one that most people are hell no. And that is a new Iron Man game. Open world is in development by EA again. So we're giving some love to electronic arts here. And we're not talking about Madden or a basketball game. Or, you know what I mean? College football game is coming. So EA is trying to make a comeback, Wave. So we got college football on the way back. There is some talk about a new basketball game potentially. 
Um, that's like in infancy though, that's still rumor phase. But now we got in super uh in uh, like a superhero game, Iron Man, open world. It is EA, so it's obviously then not gonna be able to touch what Insomniac is doing with Spider-Man, of course. But gotta ask, man, what's your thoughts on this? Yo, when I first saw so you when you first sent me this, like I was really intrigued because like it's like two ways this can go, right? It could be like really good, you know what I mean? Like they can like take advantage of a lot aerial and like on the base level or the ground level, right. um, and just do a lot with it. But it could either go like really well or it could go anthem. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like Anthem was the same concept, but it was just terribly done. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, um, right. but like they, they could make a lot of content out of this. Like, you know, Iron Man have a lot of lore. Like, you know what I mean? So I'm really interested, like how they would, which way they going to go with it. Um, Like, are they going to lead it up to like, try to do like another Avengers? Right. Or is this going to be like solely iron man from when he got kidnapped in the beginning before he even made the suit to him making a suit you know the whole beginning um and i think that would be pretty cool if they did it like that and still made it open world um but i'm ah man anthem just got me feeling like i can't trust a game like this (laughs) because i want it to be done really well but I don't, I don't know. It's EA. I can see them messing this up. What can they do to make this right? Do they gotta go the che- like the the cheating route and get Downey Jr. to voice them? Do they gotta? You know what I mean? Like, do they gotta? Does it have to be multiplayer slash co op? Does it have to be just? Perfect storytelling. Like, what do they got to do? Again, not to compete with Spider-Man because that's embedded now, right? What do you got to do to make this right? I think, one, they can't do a lot of the cheesy shit that a lot of the other aerial games make you do, like flying through hoops and stuff like that. Yeah, you're right, right, right. Like, make the aerial stuff straight combat. Like, you know what I mean? Like, them them actually fighting enemies right. that he will fight in the air like don't waste our time making us do none of that other crazy shit we don't need to do um make the make the story really good like and like i said you got a lot of source material like or you could go a new route you know what i'm saying like he is a billionaire playboy philanthropist like he liked the cola so so there's a whole bunch of things he could get into with the money that he got so like you could make something else up but just make it a real good storyline you know what i'm saying um that that's important and i don't know and don't try to make it a multiplayer game like focus on making it a good one player game like don't try to because that's where it they get muddy and you can mess it up quick look man because like i i do have problems with what insomniac has done to spider-man not visually. The game is gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. Very good looking game. And it's fun to play. I obviously have been on record with my issue with the button layout, of course. I've talked about that ad nauseum now. But um, at the same time, what is it about Spider-Man that is just, even if the game is okay, it's beloved, right? Whereas some of like X-Men Legends 1 and 2, even though we love the game, we've talked about it. It was more loved. It still was like, oh, well, it's not as good as Spider-Man. It's the transportation, bro. Is it just that Spider-Man, it just got it, right? It's more relatable because technically he's, what, 16? Um, He's swinging through New York City. You see what I'm saying? What is it about Spider-Man? Like, is there a Spider-Man bias or is it just Spider-Man games has always been good and all the other ones have been bad? Because I don't think that's quite the case. I think it's the swinging around, bro. I really think it's that simple, bro. It's the it's the swinging around like it that that don't really get too boring like because you could like mix it up like you could be fast with the way you travel like you know because he got a lot of the joints where he could shoot and pull himself right now I mean you could like swing like you in a tree you could fly yourself in the air and fall that like it's just fun you could do mad random shit swinging right. around like Spider Man that you can't do 
as any other character, you know what I'm saying, that don't have that same ability to swing. And then his story, like you said, um, well, growing up, obviously, was relatable. We can't relate to it too much right now because right. we ain't 16. But they got older versions of Spider-Man, too, so it ain't just that version. Um, you know, so I think it's more just to swing it around. I joint that's I know it's people that literally go on live and just swing around on Spider Man all day, right? With some music in the background, and people will watch it. So, because I'm saying, like, Iron Man, obviously, the suit, and obviously, you know, they're gonna have customizable stuff to customize the suit and stuff like that, change the color, add pieces, and all that. Um, but Iron Man is such a dope character, and I'm not saying he's on the level of Sp- Spider Man, but at the same time, it's like people are hype for the Wolverine game. But if you read the comments, it's partially because it's made by Insomniac and they see what they've done with Spider Man. But I think, like I talked about, they might be running into a trap because Spider Man games they always hit, you know what I mean? And even when they don't, people still like kind of cape for them, whereas like. The only thing else that's probably either remotely close is some of the Batman games for like when we were growing up. Yeah. But that's another character that's beloved is Batman. You know what I mean? Superman, the Superman games ne- never hit. Uh X-Men games, even though I love them, we and we both love the Genesis one, but they don't quite hit as much. It's always in Spider-Man. The next one is Batman. And the other ones are comfy. Think, Spider-Man is Venom and Carnage. So like, I, I think it's transportation, bro. Cause Bat because Batman got a motorcycle, he right. got a plane, and you that's off the rip. Cause right. he's rich too. Like you don't gotta build that up. Like once you drop in as Batman, you got a, a car, <laughs> a motorcycle. He also got the grappling gun that for some odd reason they let you swing around with like Spider-Man, and we all know. Ain't no grappling gun working right. that fast and good, but whatever. He's rich, so he probably could do it. Um, and what else? He what? What did I say? The plane, yeah, or did. or the thing that you? What's the the jet ski? He probably got mm-hmm. a jet ski. He got a submarine. Like what? Don't Batman got to get around? You can get around any way as Batman. You that you can't do as Superman. Superman right. you just flying. The most you can do is spin around and do a three sixty. It's only so many 360s you can do before you're like, all right, I'm tired of just flying. Right. And I want to do something else. And that's that's the edge that Spider-Man got and Batman got. They got Batman got different modes of transportation right off the rip. And he could swing. Spider-Man got you could he could web swing. So he could even like, you know, he could kind of fly a little. He can't fly, but you know, you could swing further enough where you could kind of fly too. So if you want yeah. to fly, you could do it. Like it's just it's different. I think that's the biggest difference because people will literally get on Spider Man just to swing around. Right. They ain't getting on Super no Superman game just to fly around. Nobody's doing that. They're probably gonna go and play one of those airplane simulators. <laughs> Gamer Live looks said so EA's making Anthem 2, just getting the Marvel license on it. <laughs> probably that, they gotta get this game because that's gonna be the common perception. So they gotta get get this game far away from Anthem. The marketing on this game has to be flawless, man. Has to be flawless. It has to be because I'm already thinking Anthem. <laughs> Facts. Just that nobody asked. <laughs> damn, <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn. Most said getting Anthem. Damn. Yeah. Well, Andy said Iron Man starts off in a bar doing a line of coke off Tammy's butt, then <laughs> watch it goes off and he's off to the AA meeting. That will pique my interest. Ah, we're not feeling the Iron Man game. Damn. <laughs> just said a rich guy in a fancy suit being able to go anywhere and do anything is literally just reality. We don't need a game for this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I just I'm just seeing the comments now. Yo, it was good. <laughs> Sue opens up in his Deadpool. <laughs> that would be fire. I'm not gonna lie. Most says Spider Man. It's because Spider Man's a shit. I mean, yo, there's other superheroes that are dope besides Spider Man, but I'm like, why does he translate to video games better? Is it the uh, the underdog? Because he's a even though he has a strength, no. and stuff, he's 16. He's fighting the big bad guys, right? He has a a gang of villains that he can always battle in multiple across multiple games. You know what I mean? Um, what is it about Spider? Besides swinging through the 
city wave. I get that part. Because, like like you said, there's people who just buy the game just to swing around the city. You know what I mean? Right. Especially New Yorkers will be like, yo, let me see if they got this in here. Let me see if they got that in there. I get that part. But really think about it. What other superhero game you could just throw on and do a mindless activity like that? Iron Man could fly in and take place in New York, too. Bro, but how nobody like you're gonna get tired of that a lot faster is what i'm saying like because there's not a lot of things you could do flying like as far as tricks wise like, right but you, you can fight in the air against iron man and his villains you can fight in the air like actual air yeah combat. i get that i get that but that's a lot that's more complicated than swinging right. around and, and you said aunt may <laughs> i should have known that i should have known that that's <laughs> Yeah, you should definitely do that. <laughs> Speaking of that, Wave, something I something I heard over WrestleMania week was that Trish Stratus at one point was in talks to possibly play Aunt May in the MCU Spider-Man. Obviously, we know it ended up going to Marissa Tomei. But however, at one point, she was one of the several people, I'm sure, who auditioned for the role. Could you imagine Trish Stratus as Aunt May? <laughs> that uh, yeah. not really. I don't know. Right. I can't really see Trish I, acting. I can't either. So I, I don't. I don't know if that would have been good. I can't either. It it would have came off very cinematic. Hardy, Cinemax. <laughs> I, I honestly thought you was gonna say something like Ronda Rousey was gonna be the new Aunt May. Nah, like, nah, nah, nah. I know she making her rounds again. That's why I'm like, oh yeah, 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 no, no. But um, I I don't know why specifically Trish. I know she was trying to get into acting around that time of, of um Homecoming, like 2016, 2017. But I just happened to read that. I thought that was interesting. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. She probably could do it now. Shit, what else she doing? She ain't. She, what's she doing? She probably she, running she businesses, was on some, chilling with her feet up. She was on some uh like CBS FBI type show, whatever it was. It was not like a regular, but I know she's done some acting on that. I don't know, man. I just thought it was an interesting little factoid that she auditioned for. Not that I expected her to get it or to even get get as far as to MCU, but still. The fact that she acting is pretty cool. She, yeah. Just that Spider Man is quite literally the perfect superhero for video games, so unfair advantage. I guess it's because of the. It gotta be well more than the swinging. It's probably because of his reflexes too. Like, right? I don't right. know. Like, he is real agile. Like, he could do a lot of things that other heroes can't do with his reflexes. Most of Spider Man Three movie game was dog shit though. It was on the Wii, and the swing mechanic was motion control and was a dumpster fire. But even that, that game, like, I've seen P people go back and do like rehashes on it being like well it wasn't that bad i'm like see like spider-man <laughs> can always get the benefit of the doubt bro those are the stands though you can't right. like you can't mind them they're gonna some it's gonna be some fans that say wow shit how often does he run out of stuff to sling and just go and just go flying <laughs> <laughs> if was anybody else i wouldn't i would have took that a different way but i gave a lot like said wave is a little too excited about someone swinging <laughs> Hey, what can I say? I'm in the swinging. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a chance to be evil Iron Man, destruction to the max. That could be dope, like a dope little spin on it. Like after you beat the game or something, just kind of freelance and do whatever at that point. Be like Iron Man GTA or make it like Fable. Like right. you can make your own decisions and Choices, that affect yeah. the way the game go. That would be dope. Uncle Ben is why Spider-Man is good. Because <laughs> it got popped to like... Yeah, what the fuck? I'm so confused. Just said, could you imagine to Tr Stratus being in? <laughs> no, that would be horrible. That's what I could imagine. I'm messing up the one or two lines that Aunt May got. Trish Stratus would have kicked Green Goblin's face. <laughs> that probably that's the other thing. She probably yeah, she probably would have went and got a fight scene. Like right, right. Out of nowhere, like Aunt that, May never fought since that, it's Trish Stratus. That's where it don't work. Where it's like. Aunt May has to be vulnerable. You know what I mean? Like that. The whole, half the battle is all his enemies attack the, pe the people he care about, right? Right. In the multiverse, though, one of the Aunt Mays was gangster. Right. I mean, plus she probably bigger than Tom Holland. Like, like so at the same time, like yeah, that wouldn't work. She probably definitely is bigger than Tom Holland. Just said 
Tony would have left Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> the love for Aunt May word. <laughs> Andy says still cage match. Trish versus Doc Ock. <laughs> that would have been crazy. Oh man. I can I see her just drop kicking Doc Doc. Let's get to the spin wheel, man. You ready, Wave? Yes, sir. Let's get to it. Appreciate y'all rocking with us on this um this Tuesday night. We back on our regular night. Everybody yes, help yes. Let's, let's get to it. What's your favorite console and why? I'm going to kick this one off, Wave. I I know I've switched this in the past, and this is not even recency bias. I think it's the 360. I haven't even played the 360 in a little while, to be honest. But I've been playing a lot of 64 lately, as I've said. And, like, although I got mass nostalgia for, for these games, but at the same time, the 360, man, so with the emergence of the online gaming, being able to custom soundtracks was still a thing. A slew of games, from sports games to shooters to wrestling games, were still good at, at that point, to adventure games, and games like, you know what I mean? It covered the mm-hmm. gamut. I'm still going. I think I got to go 360 as my favorite. Oh, man. My favorite console. I, I wanted to go 64, but I don't know. I, I kind of want to change it. I think like the console that I had the most fun on might have been the um might have been the Xbox One, to be honest with you. Okay. And I did I I there's games that I enjoyed on a 360, but um you could play more on Xbox One. I just think I had more a lot more fun. I, I met um a lot of my gamer homies that I, I'm rocking with right now still on that console you know what i'm saying probably some of them on the 362 but most of them on the xbox one right um but like yeah my i I probably would have to say three but i would say xbox one 360 and n64 it's my top three i think that's a solid list if i'm being honest yeah like perfect like i like we've had this debate i still think the 360 got the best control i've ever used um just the it's slightly different from the ones we see now with xbox i actually prefer the 360 one still um a perfect controller i thought the dashboard and a custom soundtrack and all that was perfect we saw the emergence of in the kind of the the real version of xbox live arcade right where we yeah. started seeing that um w- without the red ring of death situation i think it would have been the perfect console but it, it, i never experienced that man Lucky you. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of a lot of people deal with that. I just I just never I was lucky to right. never have experience. Let's that. See see the chat saying, bro, no disrespect for a sec. I'm like, yo, is that Raekwon? Like, yeah, it's the <laughs> chef, man. He in, he in the kitchen cooking right now. Into the woo, man. Like, <laughs> hey, that's funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. That's crazy, the purple tape. Like, like, <laughs> shout out to Raekwon, man. <laughs> We're from cooking Game in of... the kitchen and doing podcasts about <laughs> games and shit. Word. Game of Logic <laughs> said, Sega Dreamcast, because what came from that and how ahead of his time it was. I'm not mad at that one. Either, yeah, that's man. a good pick. I ain't going like, to Dreamcast is definitely the most underrated console, man. I honestly don't think there's no wrong answer to this, man. Like, uh, I can't think of one system that, like, totally shit the bed as far as, like, the games across the board go. Right. Just said Xbox 360 because it was just special. The achievements were fun to get. The online play, the avatars, the great games that came out was just special. Another thing, Wave, the emergence of the Connect when it seemed like everybody was starting to look towards what's next. Then they dropped the Connect. You know what I mean? Was that 09, right. 2010? They dropped the Connect and put out a whole new slew of games. Unlike the Wii, you didn't need the remote, right? Yeah. So I just thought it was uh, at, after the initial Red Ring of Death, 
they handled it perfectly, I felt. And that's why I chose the Xbox One, though, because they kind of took all of that and made it better. You know right. what I'm saying? And then they game they game in the games that they dropped during that, you know, timeline of uh, the Xbox One just was good. They didn't they did not fumble as far as the right. games go. So, like, I just think they they took that and then elevated it. And then they took back they you know, started the backward compatibility. So you was able to still play those 360 games too. And it wasn't, it didn't lack on anything like graphically or, you right. know what I'm saying? Like it was just a all around good console. Can't argue there, man. Most said, yeah, gotta be 360. Close second is Nintendo 64. Like, I, I feel that. like if I answer it quick, like if I'm timed, I'll just throw out 664. But just playing back to 64 games, which is still great. I was just like, damn, the 360 is just like, you know what I mean? It's more modern and everything. And you said the Sega Saturn helped me play through dark times next to 360. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, Again, I always say that. Saturn games, man, are good. It's just in America because of the controversy and what Sega, their mishaps, it just didn't hit. But if you get your hand on Japanese Saturn games and stuff and or just look them up, you'll see that the Saturn, especially in Japan, was the shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's just in PlayStation came and kind of wiped it out here because we didn't sat in and get a fair shake, and it was more expensive, and the graphics didn't quite hold up as better. It weren't quite as smooth. Right. You know, he said Sega Genesis or P- PS One and original Xbox. I feel like sometimes the OG Xbox gets overshadowed. They only say Halo, right? But um, yeah. definitely some great games on that too. I like the NBA Inside Drive. Inside um, Drive. That was my joint for a little bit. Most said I had the Red Ring of Death before it was well known. I went and bought another one from Walmart, kept the box, put my old one inside, and returned it. It worked. Finesse God. <laughs> Either that or Soldier Boy. He was the first one with the, first <laughs> with the Red Ring of Death. <laughs> Drake. <laughs> Most said love to connect. Tiger Woods Golf was amazing with it, and they had a Nike training game that gave you a great workout. Yeah, they definitely uh low key was was uh trying to take it to Nintendo, you know what I mean? Like right. we, we don't need the remote, you got the Wii Fit. All right, let's put the Nike, the Nike joint. You got the just dance, we got the we're going we're gonna uh do Michael Jackson experience better, we're gonna do dance central, all all types of stuff. The can yo, that era of gaming was so good, man. So 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 good. I know we kind of glorified the 90s for a lot of stuff. But that 2000 era right, gaming, yeah. man, was, was damn near perfect. Yeah. Some good, good healthy competition. One. Absolutely. What is more odd? Halo on the PlayStation or Spider-Man on the Xbox Series S and X? I gotta say Halo on PlayStation, man. Halo is synonymous with Xbox. With Spider Man is not really you don't think Spider Man when you think of PlayStation. People I ask about kind of do now way. I ain't gonna lie. I don't I don't know, bro, because you got God of War, you got Uncharted, you got games that got really solid that got really solid runs on PlayStation throughout all of the generations of PlayStation, bro. So I don't I don't think what you think you think Xbox 90% of the time people gonna say Halo. You can't say that about Spider Man. That's fair. That that part is fair, but I feel like with the PS4, the PS5, as soon as you mention that console, the first thing they're gonna say is Spider Man. Because that was a game. Go ahead, go ahead. If you don't say four or five, they not you can say Xbox and they're gonna say Halo. Right. You say PlayStation, you don't know what you're going to hear. See, I, I might be thinking about this like too, like too strong because I'm thinking like Xbox don't really care. You know what I mean? About the exclusivity. So I can see them putting Halo on PlayStation <laughs> long. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm you think it too yeah, deep. Yeah, Paul. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, yeah. I'm with you. Halo going to PlayStation would be wild because there's going to be a lot of PlayStation fans who said it was trash all these years be like, scooping the game up quick. Like they like a real civil war. Right. For, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Battlefield to use. <laughs> Just said Halo 
And you said Halo, Spider Man don't deserve Xbox. Right. <laughs> Most said Halo. We just saw a Spider Man game on Xbox. That is true. That is true. Web of Shadows and stuff like that. They were on, on, on Xbox. I'm just saying, like, PlayStation, that, that's their go to, man. That's what they say. Wave, like, we've heard it. Like, yeah. oh, you got them games. We got Spider Man and God of War and Last they, Wars. They definitely stuff. saying God of War. Right. That's their favorite. But that's cool because I got it but, too. PlayStation Final Fantasy, that would be a huge answer. Yeah. Final Fantasy 7. Final Fantasy is on the Xbox now, too, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, after all these years, of course. Halo would mess the world up on PlayStation. <laughs> Bro, it would be a world. It would be a war. It would be a world war. It would be, a, I said world war. It would be a civil yeah. war. I'm, f- yeah. It In could be fun, though, industry. man. Yeah. Expand that g- gamer base. <laughs> Best Xbox game ever. Seems like this is an Xbox night with these uh, questions. Yeah, make us look very biased. Right, I like that. It's random. I promise, as y'all can see. Um, <laughs> so we're talking a singular game. Would it ha- would it ha- would it be Halo? But which one? Don't buy the first one. Nah, it couldn't be the first one. It would have to be one of the Halos. Shit. Fable two? Yeah, Fable Two is a good one too. Um I can see some saying black. I know that's obviously that's more it's not as strong as Fable 2, but I can see some saying black. Um personally, I could see me saying psychonauts, left for dead. You know what I mean? Yeah, Those are... I can't choose one. I'll definitely have to say. Titanfall two? No, I'm just like, like, uh, no. Uh, one. I would have to say probably one of the fables and one of the halos and the halo. And I can't. I don't even know. Like I can't even choose one. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's fair. Like this. This kind of thing is not okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> too many games. It's not okay. Yo. Um. All right. I'm gonna go. For me, it's going to come down to Halo 3. Yeah, that would probably be the Halo I was thinking, too. Halo 3, Fable 2. Damn, you also got Left 4 Dead 2. That's an exclusive, too. Val was cooking at that time, too. Damn. I even like the Tomb Raider, the Tomb Raider joints. The right. Definitive, the nude ones, the... New Tomb Raiders that they made, like just thinking of like a, a single player game, and then like you got all of the two Ks you could think of. You got uh I'll be honest, bro. For me, I don't even think I would choose a two K though. And it's not popular like that, but how Hellblade is a lot up there too, man. I'd still that game is that game is special, man. Um damn. I gotta I gotta play that game. <sighs> Might be Halo 3, bro. <laughs> It's like how it's. It feels like sacrilegious to not pick a Halo game, but Fable Two is so damn good. So we're not gonna come to. An, we're not gonna be able to pick one game. So just pick two. I or am. Three. I'm gonna go Halo Three. Halo Three. Oh, you. Uh, I'm gonna go out on the limb. Halo Three. I don't. I'm not too strong on that, but Halo Three. Most yeah, said, I guess just to answer the question, I, how could it not be Halo Three? For me, it was either Fable or Cam- uh, Cameo. I forgot about that, too. I never played that one. I've seen it, though, a yeah. lot. I wanted to play it, but I never played it. I forgot about that. That's a good one. And Again, I, I brought it up. I know this, it's not popular no more, but Psychonauts, when I first dropped on the OG Xbox, that was good as hell, too. Just said uh, Halo 3, Fable 2. Okay, so we all on the same board. She also said Left 4 Dead. Okay. Most of I thought Fable 3 was better than 2. 
No, I, gotta think. I respect it. I yeah, don't I'm agree, not mad at that. I respect and for the record, I still think a new Fable game will be out this September. That would be dope. I was I, I, I just have a feeling it's gonna be a 20th anniversary. I, I still think it'll be out this year. Let's do one one more, then we'll get out of here, Wave. You had this one already. The P- yeah. PC yeah. versus console. For platformer enthusiasts, which indie game gem stands out more, Celeste or Hollow Knight? Have you played these? I ain't no platforming enthusiast. So. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely ain't talking to me. I ain't played neither. So one I've of only these played games. Celeste, so I can't speak on Hollow Knight. So you want to just skip this or one? Of you wanna... Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't if know you those. if you know in the chat, give your answer. But I've only played Celeste, so I've seen both of them, and I skipped both of them. Okay. Yeah, but... Both said Celeste, better story. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go with what he said. I don't know. Yo, what's good with the yo? It's Xbox <laughs> heavy tonight. One gotta go. Wave you Xbox plant this. X, Xbox 360, or Xbox original. You plant this. I did not plan this. It's all random. Man, wait. So that mean all of the games is going with it? Bingo. Damn. Honestly, I gotta say Xbox Series X. If I'm being real, that's fair. If I'm being if I'm being real, cause like it do, cause they I got the Game Pass. So like it got a lot of value. It is some decent games that came out, but not a ton. Like you feel me? Like I feel right. like it was a, a lot better games on 360. A lot better games on on a regular Xbox. So like, and I know Xbox Series X is still like. It's probably mid middle age right now as far as consoles go. I've been out for like mm-hmm. three, four years now. Right. Um, but that's enough time to have put out a, a good enough catalog to at least compete, especially when you got the advantage graphically. Like you feel me? All you gotta do is gotta put out quality games and right, and this is supposed to be the year they, they do it. So right. Right. So like for the fact that you haven't put out the amount of quality games that you claim you would, I, I gotta get rid of that one, man. To be honest. Look, man, I'm just it just hurts because I know Hellblade 2, that game 10 out of 10. I already know it. Like I ain't played yet. I, Bro, know I hope you don't disappoint you because yo, you are already, <laughs> yeah. like, really pumping this joint up, man. Yo, it can, yo, bro, it can't be bad, man. Like it can't be, it's gonna it's gonna be great, man. Put it this way. What is that May 24th? So that the show after that would be what wave? That would be what is that? Let me see real, 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 real quick. See, but uh, you are like whatever happens is gonna be the reason why I'm not pumping myself up for GTA 6 or any game for that matter, though. Because so, I don't want to be like you really high on this game right now. May 28th is the our first show after that game drops. Oh, you're gonna be so May 28th allowed to play. If I'm not here and it's uh Mo or Gamer Live Look or Jess or somebody sitting in for me, just know that I'm somewhere on the way to Microsoft. <laughs> like I could just do some damage. Like you know, this game King of Wave. I waited for this game before the Series X existed. You see what I'm saying? Right. I've been waiting on this game. Most of Series X be uh because there's no exclusive game for it. I gotta go Series X too. Um Would your answer change if the Xbox One was there or no? Still be the same answer? Yeah, yeah. Xbox One got some yeah. good games, bro. What? What? We just talked about the 360 not going nowhere. Just as long as it agrees, 360 stays, of course. Yeah, of course. it was either um, OG or Xbox right. Series X. But like I already, like I said, based off the catalog, you got to get rid of Series X. I think right. it's only fair. But, yo, that's all we got for this week's show, man. Appreciate all the love and support, as always. Um, be on the lookout for some new, some new stuff from us. 
um, as we still continue to post daily on Facebook. For those checking in on Twitter, appreciate y'all. Um, we post daily content on Facebook and stuff. We will continue to increase on other platforms as well. Shout out to y'all tonight with damn wave an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> like, like, um, yeah. probably the longest show we've had so far. I could be wrong on that, but uh, appreciate y'all checking with us, kicking it on this Tuesday night. Wave, take it away, bro. Well, we pre- apparently it's been a record setting night. We've been here, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> been off for as long as we have, and y'all, you know, uh, hung out with us, man, answered a lot of the tough questions that we had to kind of answer. We appreciate you guys, man. Like, Lurking, liking, sharing, subbing, whatever you decided to do to support. We appreciate it, man. You have a good night. See you on Tuesday. We out. Peace.